Maybe he was mistaken, or he was bluffing. I see. My name is Mike Osborne, still on FAC on Twitch, not fooling Someone around crew on YouTube. General Karin metamorphosed too. That's what you told Yuito. Yuito said a name. What was it? Well, it's a bit of a sensitive topic, to say the least. Sorry, but can we talk about it later? I'll talk if necessary, but I don't feel like it right now. Alright, you can also catch me on the Discord server, it's called the Not Fooling Around Crew. and Seiron are both hiding something. <laughs> Karin's true motives are still a mystery. I wonder what he's after. All we can do is keep moving and watch them. Man, this is going to be such a pain. Alright, and what I want to show you in this episode is how to build your team bond level and how to get gifts and stuff like uh, that. Why are you so against going to Togetsu? It's where you're from. You're not popular, so you wouldn't understand. But I have a lot to worry about. Oh, being popular is hard. Sorry for not being popular. Alright, if they're done bullshitting, I can show you how to do this. Okay. So here in the house, you can see all the bullshit that I've got on the walls now. This is all from getting gifts and building up bond levels with different teammates. Now the only way that you can improve your SAS, which is the abilities, the level, the abilities that you can use with your teammates is by interacting with them during the standby phase and getting them gifts. You can buy them gifts pretty much anytime and trade stuff for them by going to the shop. So we're going to go to the shop right now. Um, shop is square button on PlayStation. All right, and uh, usually you can go to, yeah, I think they're always an exchange. You have to go to exchange, and then you have to go over to presents. And then if you see there, see that lightning photograph? I own one of them. But I bought that because if you look down at Shiden, it's got a red, big red heart on it. So I know I need to give it to Shiden. Uh, the duster here, I've already given that to Shiden. You see he's the only one that lights up on the duster. Tortoise shell glasses, it's a white heart for Shiden. Here's a self-help book, How to Not Worry. It's also on Sheedin. Um, but it's not a heart or a white heart. Or it's not a red heart or a white heart, so I'm not going to buy it unless I have, if I can later. See, this one here, this is for, what's her name? Arishi. Arishi. This is for Arishi. Uh, she's the only one who lights up for it, so I bought it for that. Same here. I will buy this for Sheedin eventually, but... Uh, we'll keep moving. So these, you can see this is, I've already given this to both of them. They both have white hearts for it. So I bought two of these and I gave it to them. Here's a tea set and that goes to Haruka. No, that's, um, damn, I can't think of her name, but I'm going to buy it because it's a white heart. We definitely want that. I have it. And you can see there, she's a level three. My bond relationship with her is a level three. So we're going to try and get it up to level four. And how you do that, you click on it with X and confirm the exchange. And then, let's see, I've already given that to her. This can go to either one of them, and I own one. That can go to her. That I've already given to her. Big red heart. A white heart. White heart. Body cactus, so I have that already for him. Teddy bear to him, that's interesting. Uh, red heart, I gave him the electric guitar already. And then you plug in things and give it to anybody. Uh, and I've given it to three of them. That actually means they can use more abilities. So you probably want to give that to everybody eventually. Anyways, and I'm going to eventually give it to the last guy. That's Kogetsu. Kagero. Kagero. Okay, so um, let's see where we're at. I'll buy another thing because it looks like I have enough to buy one. Bump, 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 bump. Brain model vision. Potted Cactus, Teddy Bear. I want to build my relationship with him, so we're going to buy another Teddy Bear. Alright, so that's how you do that. You exchange that shit. Okay. So then, now, go through the room here, and you talk to everybody. Here is... Kyoka. We're going to talk to Kyoka. Can't imagine Togetsu is not involved in the other research. We should be able to find leads if we make contact with the Order. And then there's a gift that I can give her. I have tea set that's got a white heart for her, so we're gonna confirm that. This 
is nice. Do you know about tea leaf reading? You can read the future in the shapes of tea leaves over in a cup. You should try it. Should I talk to Shiden? Alright, that's another part of it. So another part of this besides just walking around with these, you want to go back to Kyoka because it looked like there was a Bond episode with Kyoka. Let's find her again. Where did she get to? He must have went to the kitchen. We'll find Kyoka again and we're gonna talk to her again because there's a Bond episode here. Oh, Kasane. What's wrong? I'm sorry, hold on. I'm getting another headache. Okay, it's gone now. You still don't look well. Maybe you should rest. No, I need to clean the hideout soon. I can't cause trouble for... <laughs> we'll feel a lot better if you rest instead of pushing yourself in this state. Please, Kyoka. Okay, I'll rest for a little bit then. Here, drink one of my special nutrition drinks. Don't worry, it hasn't expired. I didn't join the OSF to take care of someone else. I'll leave the wrong towels here. I'm sorry, I don't mean to worry you. It's not so bad being looked after. Just rest up for now. We don't want our nice hideout getting cleaned up by Kyoka anyway. Wow, look how popular she is. She got the lazy Arashi and the sour little Shiden to get off their butts and help. Why don't you do something too, Kagero? What? Can't you tell, Kasane? I'm lovingly watching over everyone for her. Anyway, we should leave her alone so she can actually get some rest. How are you feeling, Kyoka? Brainwaves are stable. Pulse is also at normal level. No issues to report. Kyoka, was that... Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. It looks like the old me came out again. She seems to pop out when I'm tired or concentrating on something. What does it feel like to suddenly be someone else? Well, it's not like I'm particularly conscious of it. But there's no clear distinction it's a different person from me. To be honest, I don't even know which is the real me. That must be tough. I mean, if you can't tell anyway, why don't you just choose the one you'd rather be? That's a good point. Thank you. You're right. I wish I had a choice. Hmm? Well, I feel so much better thanks to you. Are you sure you're okay? You don't need to try to support everyone by yourself anymore. You can come to us for help sometimes. I appreciate your concern, but I'm really okay now. Besides, I'm dying to clean. I have to scrub every inch to make up for lost time. Oh, I know. I'll cook for everyone to thank them. She really does seem like she's doing better. Maybe I'll go do some training. Okay, so talking to people. What happened here? I was only gone for a minute. Fuck. <sighs> Kasane, it's Kyoka. What about her? The fuck? She did a clean sweep. This is the end for me. You have to stop her. What? Clean sweep? It looks like a tornado went through here. Shiden? What happened to you? K Kyoka said she cooked something for us. And when I took a bite, my whole body went numb. <sighs> Damn it! I should have known from the way it looked. No! Wake up, Shiden! <laughs> ah, doing housework feels so good. Oh, Kasane! Do you even recognize the room anymore? I've also made cookies. Feel free to have some. The fuck? Um, I'll pass. Oh, you're not hungry? That's not good. I can make you some porridge, then. <laughs> I have to make sure she never does housework around here ever again. Uh. It might be bad for her health, and it's definitely bad for ours. Okay, so she just cooked something We've and made it. We've been together for a while, Kasane. Ever since you were a cadet. And your growth still surprises me. It does? 
I haven't noticed any changes in myself. You've become a great soldier. I hope I can keep watching you get better. Ah, yes. Level 4 bond with Kyoka. That's the first level 4 bond. So, now, level 4? Well, let's just take a look at all of them. So, Kyoka's skill is duplication. Uh, we're going to take a look you at all this. Up to me more. That makes me so happy. It might sound like I'm exaggerating a little, but it really is easy to talk to you. Alright, so, let's take a look now at Kyoka. So, Kyoka... Her skill is duplication. Um, you can, she, Kasani like picks up things with her brain and throws them. Well, when you're using the duplication skill, she can throw multiple things. Like one item becomes multiple items. You can even turn into multiple people. So, anyways, let's just. Then there's also increased SAS recovery speed at speed 2 in Guardian Vision, which means Kyoko will, like if there's an attack on Kasani sometimes, Kyoko would jump in front of it and block. Um, then there's the combo vision and duplication, which is when actually Kasani can become duplicated and do attacks through the combo vision, and then there's assault vision. So it says, so duplication, while SAS is active, one copy of Psychokinesis object is made. It's also used to break shells of Psychokinesis attacks during the effect. Increases the recovery of speed at level 2. Uh, duplication gauge, also when you're attacked, there's a chance for a vision of Kyoka to appear and block the attack and gaining damage. Then, level 3, while SAS is active, you can create duplicates of yourself that attack with you. Using L1 plus circle, X, triangle, or square enables a combo vision in which Kyoka attacks from afar with duplicates. I need to practice that. I haven't been very good at using that yet. And then uh, level 4, which we just got to, is the assault vision. Attack an unguarded enemy and Kyoka will call out. Answer her with triangle and circle and she will appear as a vision and perform a special attack. That's dope, huh? that's that so that's the first way that you can up your bond with you have to up your bond with individuals by talking to them and giving them gifts now i showed you where to get the gifts and how to choose which gifts you give to who you give them to now there's another way that you can get to bond episodes and that's by using the brain messages here well, let's see so this is sugumi nazar uh, do you remember when we talked about gardening? There's a lot I want to tell you about plants, so I hope you can talk at first. And you don't mind to see me. You don't have to. If you don't mind seeing me, please reply. I have time, so whatever's fine. So you reply to these messages, and it will start a bonding episode. If it's because we fought as enemies, don't worry. It doesn't bother me. Things are great now, but we don't need to worry about the situation. We can talk alone. Come to Sayron, we can talk there. And you can deepen your bond by giving allies gifts at the hideout. Gifts. Oh, would you like to talk about gardening? Sure, no. If you Why the mind. fuck would we talk about gardening? This is more than just herbs. Yes. I like growing plants because it's fun hearing their different voices. You don't literally <coughs> mean a plant's voice, right? No, because plants can't speak. That's why the person who's growing them needs to imagine what they're saying. Over here. Follow me. I'll show you what I mean. She's rather assertive when it comes to plants. Looking at the flower beds in cities like this, you can tell how they've grown and what condition they're in. This flower may look like it's growing healthy, but if you look carefully, you can see the bottom leaves are changing colors. It's sick. However, the branches and roots are fine. So I think it will recover if you snip off the sick leaves and give it medicine. Oh, these are all healthy, but there is a lot of water building up here, which could cause the roots to decay. You should exchange the soil for some with better water drainage. Oh. I'm sorry, I was blabbering again. No, I'm impressed. Not only are you knowledgeable, you're perceptive enough to notice so much from their appearance. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not just from their appearance. I'm using my clairvoyance to see below the dirt. 
I can tell everything you normally can't see, from the condition of the roots to the quality of the soil. So it's kind of like cheating. Well, I don't think I would call that cheating. You're just putting your power to use. Besides, your knowledge and gardening experience determine the condition of the plant, not your power. Thank you. Oh, and of course you can garden without clairvoyance. I felt the same back during the military exercises, but the ability to scout anywhere makes her power an important asset. On top of that, she understands her power and has learned to use it well. She would be an outstanding team member. Kasane? What's wrong? Tsugumi, would you come with me? Huh? What do you mean? Oh, I hope we get to fight with I her. I mean just that. I want you to come to Seiron and fight alongside me. No. Well, it's not just for me. And I know this is a bit unfair for me to say, but I need your help for Naomi, too. I'm sorry about Naomi, but I already decided I would fight with Yuito. Even if it means having to fight me? Yes. When that time comes, I won't lose. All right. If that's how you feel, I'll give up on trying to recruit you. However, please don't expect me to go easy on you either. That's okay. We'll still win. <laughs> oh, look. What is it? The inside of this tree is mostly rotten. It's been infected by a fungus that's consumed it from the trunk to its roots. You can't save it? It's too far gone. If we leave it, the wind might blow it over. In that case, I think it's best if we dispose of it now. I can use my psychokinesis to uproot it. Don't say it like that. It could lead to an accident if it suddenly fell over. The tree is dying anyway. We should deal with it. This tree is alive, too. It's been sick and suffering, half dead. And you're talking about it like it's garbage. You're right. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be so insensitive. Uh, I'm sorry, too. I know you're right. It's already too late, and our only option is to cut it down. But that's why we need to care. This tree has watched over everyone its whole life. I think it's important for us to show it the proper respect to the end. Yes. Thank you for understanding. Oh, also that shrubbery over there. She has more depth than I thought. She's quiet, but she doesn't just do what she's told. She has a hidden strength. How strange. I feel like we would really get along. Kasane, are you listening? I'd like for you to pay attention here. Don't worry, I'm listening. You can talk as much as you want. All right. All right, so back to the gardening one. This says, you're very calm for being in your first year, even with so little combat experience. It's amazing. I think so? The way you fight surprised me, Tsukumi. You're always so quiet, ruthless in combat. How do you make the change? Don't hesitate when fighting enemies like swatting insects. Can't avoid swatting insects if you raise plants, so I'm used to bugs. So I just treat the others like they're bugs. They're a lot bigger, though. So that's Tsukumi Nazar. Alright, let's see... All right, so here we go with Luca. Thank you for hearing me out the other day. I would actually like to speak with you again. I would like to hear your opinions on combat. Though you may be hesitant to discuss battle tactics with someone you so recently fought as an enemy. Would you mind meeting me at Musubi's? Of course. Like I said before, we don't need to worry about our situations with respect to each other. If we're talking combat, I might be able to learn something too. I'll leave now. 
So this is one of the like I'm sorry worst parts of the this. game to stream, but it's definitely important to go through these bonding episodes. Really Especially if you're gonna fight, because the bosses are tough. Off, and I feel like you're far more capable. That's due to my title. Nobody will tell me their honest opinion thanks to my perceived status. Huh, really? That's how people generally are. To that point, I feel like you are someone who doesn't care about titles or status, and would speak her mind. When we fought the other day, I thought your instincts were excellent. That's why I wanted to hear your opinions about the way I fight. Okay, if that's what you want, I'll be honest with you. Oops, yes, your ass, you Luca. So kind. Why do you even use a hammer as a weapon in the first place? You have a small frame, and you don't look like you have enough muscle. Wouldn't it be more effective to use something smaller and lighter that fits your physique, like a knife? I see. Thank you for your input. But I think you've overlooked a crucial fact. What do you mean? I agree that a hammer is a big and heavy weapon that doesn't seem to match my frame. But my power is teleportation. I can close the gap the instant I swing, or move on top of an enemy's head to let gravity do most of the work. In other words, I chose the hammer because it was the best weapon that takes advantage of my power. It can also intimidate opponents with its powerful image, and it even offers a good workout when I lift it. I see. Oh, sorry. I got carried away there. I shouldn't argue when I was the one who asked you to give me your honest opinion. No, I was just impressed that you found a fighting style that matches your power. But if you've established your style to this degree, there's not much point in asking for anyone's opinion. You might be right, but I feel like I'm lacking something. Are you unsatisfied with your current level of strength? I'd say this is more about eliminating my weakness than wanting to become stronger. As you already pointed out, I have a small frame. And while I work out every day, I don't have enough muscles. My current fighting style compensates for these facts, but it also relies too much on my power. I think children of the state like us all rely on our powers in a fight, more or less. That may be true, but think about what would happen if you could not use your power at all. You would have no choice but to rely on your physical strength, but I would be mostly useless the way I am. Not be able to use your power? I suppose that happening is a possibility, but that's a pretty limited situation. Well, you never know what could happen on the battlefield. You have to be prepared for anything. Really? I think it's a waste of time to worry about outliers. You have a point. I could be worrying a little too much. It could be because you don't believe in your own strength. Huh? I don't think there's any problem with the way you fight. If anything, I would say it's psychological. In other words, a lack of confidence. <laughs> How surprising. My brother said something similar to me in the past. She, he he compared her to him twice. Weakness. That does seem like my biggest problem. You really are perceptive. I was right to come to you. Was anything I said helpful? Yes. This has been very beneficial to me. You don't hold back when we talk. So I find myself wanting to talk about things I normally wouldn't. That helps me be more open with my feelings, so I can relax. May we talk again sometime? Sure, if you're okay with me just talking like I normally do. Of course. I'd prefer that. What you consider normal feels fresh and new to me. What? You and your brother are both so strange. It seems like he's satisfied, though. So I guess this was okay. All right. Yes, like I said, this isn't the best way. You know, it's not the most interesting video, but it's an important part of the game. Without this part of the game, uh, you can't build your team level up and get your powers going. So. Anyway, she says, like I said before, we don't need to worry about our situation perspective of each other. If we're talking combat, I might be able to learn something too. I'll leave now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lucas says, I have come to you for advice so many times, so I was hoping to help you somehow. Is there anything you would like to ask about training or exercise? Not particularly training as much as I need to. As much as you need to, that is smart. However, I enjoy pushing myself to my limits. 
may have noticed that I keep weights inside of my clothing, so I'm always working my muscles. Some say this is excessive, but when I think there are muscles that I still not trained that cannot help getting depressed. Okay, so let's see, where are we other than that? Okay. There are the gains, cold shoulder. Okay, nothing to gain. Fact remains that we could be in constant danger. To get to cargo, how are they getting their hands on so many human brains? I hate to say it, but there's a chance they're killing them for it. If they keep killing that many people, it won't be long for reason with anyone left until get so. I told you they're not like that, Kagero says. We're talking about a group so tiny that New Himuka allowed them to govern themselves. Kagero is right. They may have a long history, but they don't have a big population, and they seem to always have lived quietly in these mountains. Right? Even if they had something to do with the transaction in Kagero, I don't think they're involved in the metamorphosis research at all. Just being the supplier of cargo is enough involvement for us. We should all go together and see for ourselves. And uh, Haruka, do you all know basic information on Togetsu? It's high up in Hineo Mountain. I know the environment there is really harsh, right? It's really cold. The wind is really strong, so make sure you're well prepared. Thanks, Haruka. We'll head to Togetsu order headquarters as soon as we arrive. Do we have any objections? None here from Kyoka. Let's head straight to the order headquarters. We have Kagura with us after all. That should be the quickest way to get through this. Whoa there, Kagura says. You're really going to count on me that much when I'm not even on board of going to get in the first place? Well, we can come back to this after we manage to climb the mountain safely. Yeah, Kyoka says, I'm sorry I made you worry before. I have a device in my ear that lessens headaches, but I guess it wasn't enough. Um, gardening, let's see, bop, 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 all right, let's see, where was it, yeah, we did that already, okay, we'd like to discuss on this, Luca, all right, so that's everything from the brain messages, so that's, there is no more bonding episodes that we can get through there, We've done all the, oh, shit, didn't know that it must be painful normally. Oh, I made you worry even more. It's okay, they're just little headaches. You and everyone watch out for me like you did today, Kasani. That's better than any restraining advice, so don't worry about it. I want to make sure that you reply to all these as soon as possible because the the bonding episodes are relative to the story where you're at in the story. So you need to go through this stuff every of standby phase. Make sure you hit everybody every time I think I have a gift for her yeah I do I have this speed thing I bought for her because her power is speed it didn't have a heart or anything on it but it was she was the one I could give it to it's outside my department but I guess it's a wabi sabi idea of beauty yeah, it didn't have a heart on it for her, but it had her, her, her she was only like buy it for, so didn't do nothing, but we got it for her anyways. Okay, so check which hidden ridden. So much we don't know, but the more information we gather, the more we can better our situation. Let's give Shidden a gift. Lightning photograph. Oh, he's gonna love this. We're gonna get to level four with Shiden. I hope. Th thank you. Really, Lightning is best. I'm surprised you understand the incredible beauty of it. He's such a dick. Someday, I want to take a picture like this. Someday. Come on, Shiden. Let's get bonded. All right. Everything seems to be in order. Are you using a battle mask now? That's a good idea. No, I don't plan on using it yet. Really? It looks brand new. Captain Seto left this for me. Oh, he did? I guess they found it when they went through his belongings. And it finally made its way to me. I see. That's nice. Yeah. 
but when I look at this, I can feel how much expectation he had for me. I'm not worthy of this mask yet. I'll use it once I'm stronger. Don't you think he wanted you to use it right away? You say you want to wait until you're stronger, but do you even have a concrete goal? Well, when I'm as strong as him... How many years will that take? It's not going to take years. I'll be as strong as him real soon. When I was a rookie, Captain Seto would always encourage me, telling me I could succeed. I want to live up to his expectations. If I don't, then I have no right putting on this mask. He cared about Captain Seto. I heard that someone found his fountain pen. Was that you? What if it was? I thought so. Thank you for that. You don't need to thank me. I just didn't want his belongings discarded on the street. I know exactly how you feel, but why did you let me have it? Because you needed that pen more than I did. I saw the way you looked at him. I know you admired him. What? Wait, don't tell me you didn't even realize it. How did you know? It's pretty obvious. I looked up to him too, but I'm pretty sure we had different types of feelings for him. Different how? Figure it out yourself. They're your feelings. Ugh. I've never given my feelings for Captain Seto any thought. Anyway, I let you have that fountain pen. I swear, if you don't take good care of it, I'm coming after you. I'll treasure it. Thank you again. You've done a lot to help me. Where's all this coming from? Listen, don't get the wrong idea about me. Things can come to light even after a long time passes. I have Sheedan to thank for making me realize that. If platoon morale drops, it affects me too. So, it's not like I was doing it for you. Oh, I'm sorry. Could you say that again? I was a little <laughs> lost in my own thoughts. <laughs> like I say it again! Damn it! Besides, I bet he would have done the same thing with the fountain pen. Really? I know he must have cared about you too. He was a really good person. He was a great mentor admired by everyone. And someone who meant more than anything to me. I no longer have anyone that recognizes my abilities. But I'll continue working hard to someday reach his level. If your goal is to be like him, why don't you work on your people skills too? <laughs> I'd much rather use that time to work on my abilities. People will naturally come to me as long as I'm irrefutably strong. Then that means you're not strong enough to have people follow you now. What's wrong with that? I know I'm nowhere near him. It's good that you know where you stand. I suppose you're planning to work hard in order to reach his status. Yeah. Things can't stay this way. You just wait. I'm looking forward to it. Just looking at you makes me angry. Damn. I don't remember doing anything to you. I'm not saying you did something wrong. I'm mad at myself for being overtaken by someone like you. Watch out. I'm not the kind of person who gives up so easily. Hey, level four cheating. What's up? All right. Attack an unguarded enemy and she didn't call out. Answer him with triangle circle. He will appear to visit and form a special attack. Awesome. You're someone I can rely on in battle. You know, your personality aside and all. Is that supposed to be a compliment? I'll return the same. Let's see what little Sheedon says. Alright. I wonder why Seto took such good care of that fountain pen. I can't ask him now, unfortunately. Heard he got it from Car and to celebrate his promotion to Septentria, and it was probably a memento. I don't think it was just a memento. It was proof that his strength was recognized. But he kept it to give himself confidence. Just kind of guessing at that, but I hope I get something like that someday too. Something to prove my strength. It's interesting. We'll have to find shit in some type of gift to make him realize his own strength or something. Eh? So I will get the bond level five with Shiden. All right, so I think we've already did Kyoka. Uh, already gave Shiden his gifts. 
check RSG. I think I already did RSG as well. Mm -hmm. What level are we at with Kyoka? I'm at four with Kyoka. Let's give RSG some some food. Didn't get that up to level four. What's up with Kagero? Can't imagine Togetsu would be interested in others and weapons. Going there is just gonna be a waste of time, he says. But I got a gift for you, my dude. I got you a cactus and a teddy bear. Good taste. Not much of a gardener, but I Sugumi how to take care of it. Capable Kasane. I'm detecting some sarcasm. If I was being sarcastic, I'd say it sarcastically. I have a pretty good eye for people. Just accept the compliment. You really are getting along well with the guys in this platoon. My hat's off to you. Hey yo, level three with Kagero. And while SAS is active, invisibility will continue shortly, even after attacking dope. Using L1 and circle X triangle or square enables a combo vision in which Kagro charges down foes. Alright. Got teddy bear as a present from Kagero. I just bought a fucking teddy bear for Kagero. Ah, reach team bond level three. Dope. Kasane, Shiden, Kagero, Kyoka, and Arashi have been recognized as a team with a strong bond and ability and are allowed to wear white battle attire. Dopeness. I think you'll find that I can warm your frosty heart. There's no need for that. At least I know now that you're actually considerate. All right. That's it. Let's check out that white battle attire in a minute here. So this is... What is this? Haruka. Haruka, I'll be navigating you from the hideout from now on. Don't worry, I'll send you updates on Naomi through brain messages. Oh, we can't give her no gifts or nothing, huh? Sweet. So that's... That's it. That's pretty much all you can do. You need to do this um, during the rest phases of... So we're between phase 7 battle, and then this is the rest phase of 7. So when you're here, you can check the TV. Uh, all this shit is... Shit, the job button is gifts. Oh, yeah. You could probably sell that extra teddy bear now. Let's go into the shop real quick. Got two teddy bears. Hmm. Thought it said I had two of them. Didn't it just say do gave me one? Oh well. Hmm. Wow. That book is definitely something she didn't need. My other chick, she can't cook nothing, so I'm going to give her one of these. Brain model, she likes that. Also... Gave her that. Neurology, I say, gave her that. Gave her that. Teddy bear. 
I bet your guitars. That's it, huh? Let's check the weapons. Oh yeah, so sometimes you won't be able to buy a weapon, right? But you can exchange for a stronger weapon. And so it shows you who they work for. That's Kasane on the left. This weapon is negative 14 power from what I got. Negative 10, negative 7, negative 3. That one's equipped. That's what E stands for. That's plus 3, but I don't have the battle record A I need to get it. That's plus 6, and I don't have the ability to get that either. So. So there are some new weapons here, that, but I just don't have the shit I need to change for, trade for it. I believe you can go through, right? Let's take a look at that. So that's equipped. You can press add that to my wish list. Add that to my wish list. And add up 10 things to your wish list. Alright. Oh, that's right. I got the white gear. Alright, let's check that out. Let's go put some white gear on everybody. Um. I got the red battle attire on. Here's white. Ooh, white is fucking dope. Wow. Fire. Let's put everybody in the white, huh? Black battle, white, red, keeping her in red, nah, she was good in white too, fuck it, we're going white. <laughs> white is fire. Dude's going to red though. Why is pimp as fuck? Alright. Dope. All the chicks are in white and the two dudes are in red and black. It's sick. Alright, cool. Guess that's it. So that's it. That's uh that's all you need to know. That's that's how you can increase your bond level. Then my team bond level is up to three. I said you can watch TV. So it's gonna do shit. Uh, it says, there's sections of Sayron that view the traitor Kasani Randall as a hero that has led our stage to increase our level of security. Kasani Randall conspired with the rebel faction that endangered two of the citizens and used his opening to assassinate the chairman. She's an unforgiving traitor and the authorities are asking for witnesses to come forward to help arrest this menace to society as soon as possible. So that's what's going on in TV, and when you want to advance out of the this phase of the game, you go to the table. It says rest on the sofa to end the standby phase and advance to the next phase. We can leave after we get a little rest. Oh yeah, and one more thing I recommend: with any chance you get. Are we positively, absolutely going to Togetsu? Of course we are. At the very least, we should be able to learn something about the cargo sent to the research facility. I understand that you have bad memories of that place. This time, we can make good memories of it. Or is there some other reason you don't want to go to Togetsu? If that's the case, nobody would blame you for staying behind. Do you want to stay behind with me? Ugh, fine. Just don't blame me if it sucks. I did warn you. 
We're prepared for the consequences. Kagero, show us the way. Yes, ma'am. All right, so what I was going to say is anytime that you're about to advance the game, like... I know they said it would be cold, but this is freezing. I heard that it snows all year round in some areas. Don't catch your death out there. <sighs> At least there's a road. What the hell do you think Togetsu is thinking building a city in a place like this? It's cold, it sucks, and it's a pain in the ass. I haven't even been this far on assignment before. Who's down for turning back? Everyone? Great. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Enough of that. We already decided we're going, so stop complaining. I think you're going to regret it. You seem awfully opposed to this. Are you hiding something about Togetsu from us? Not at all. You know, maybe I'm imagining it, but it seems like you're pretty eager to get us all there. It's something we all decided, didn't we, Kasane? Yes, and you agreed in the end. I wouldn't call that agreeing. <sighs> Can't win them all, I guess. In any case, we need information, and that requires us to go to Togetsu. Now stop complaining. It's freezing. And no more mentioning the cold. All right. Got a brain message. Let's see what it says. It's from Haruka. We have the Supernatural Life Research Facility under surveillance. Naomi is okay. Hasn't been any change so far. You don't need to worry, Kasane. That's good. Thank you for telling me. Haruka says, don't worry. I'm always checking in on her. I'll let you know as soon as anything happens, Naomi. Thank you. I mean it, Haruka. I appreciate it. So that's that. Uh, what I was going to say is anytime you get an opportunity to advance the game, like you can see there's 952 meters till a something, or checkpoint, um, you need to be stocked up on, like, before you get to that red check mark. If there's one of these shops around, make sure you go in there and you get all types of, um, see, all, it says all light jelly. All light jelly, it gives a little bit of health to everybody on the team. Light jelly gives it to your player. SAS refueling drink. Uh, this is your SAS things in the bottom right. Brain field gear. You drink that, your brain drive will come active. And you can immediately start that thing. All normalization. It's for everybody. Basically, what I'm trying to tell you is there's there's jellies for the individual and there's jellies for the max. I like to have as many medium jellies, all alls, and whatever. It's only natural for you to rely on me. I like to have as many all mediums and all lights as possible because in battle, if you need one, it's likely that your teammates need one as well. So go to the shop and stock up on that shit before you get into a battle. Medium jellies are great, especially the all medium jellies, but they're expensive. Um, so I'm going to buy five of these. And some light jellies for... Oh, no, 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 no. This is not what I want. I'm going to get one of those. What just happened? All light jellies. We're going to go... At least five of those. One of those to help. Shit. Damn. Yeah, I would like to get some more than we got, but it is what it is. Get one of those, and that'll be that. Oh, shit. Could buy a better weapon for her, huh? Oh, well. Buy it? That would happen. I didn't buy it. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna buy 
some medium jelly, one all medium jellies for everybody, and then all light jellies I can afford. That's pretty much the best bet. Yeah, get alls. Like I said, because you need it to do chance someone else needs it. And if everybody's alive and you die, they can revive you. I feel calm being by your side. Is this what a real family feels like? It's dangerous to get close. Guess it's my turn. SAS Kasane. I'm rooting for you. Nice. The enemy doesn't see us. If your body catches fire, it's gonna keep hurting you. Be careful. You see nothing. Ah, there we go. I'm going to become stronger than anyone else. Give it to me, Arashi. Oh, let's see. Oh, that bitch just fucking me up, huh? It got me. It's over already. Looks like, uh, looks like everyone can use the light jellies, so I'm going to pop one. So everybody up, and then one for me. There we go. I bet I've got some fans out there who can't wait to see me do my thing. Well, which way am I supposed to go?
think psychokinesis and duplication go well together, yes, don't you? Will. I'm taking this. Let's use Arashi's hypervelocity. She ends electrokinesis might work. I'll support you. It's working. Focus on that spot. I'm off. Shit, I see. Okay, so if you hold L1 and then you press the button corresponding to the character, you can use that character uh, once you have level 3 going. See? Turns her into our shoe. Alright, let's see where else I've been. Looks like I missed some health back there. Or something. can call to you during battle once you strengthen your bonds with them you reply with triangle circle they will appear as a vision execute a special attack the stronger the bond the more often they'll call to you all right let's go shinin oof fuck I'm me i'm not done yet Oh, what's this? The shell is broken. Attack now. It's up to you. Are you okay? Yes, Kyoka. Thanks to you. Shocked and unable to move if it hits you. Don't 
What the fuck, man? Move, 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 my dude. as fuck. done yet. Why don't you 
going to become stronger than anyone else. Give it to me, Ari. The enemy is attacking with electricity. You'll be shocked and unable to move if it hits you. <laughs> Is this really the place? I don't think there's a city out here. There's no mistake. Togetsu is at the peak of Hino Mountain. It's mostly deserted because of the harsh environment. The people of Togetsu believe. Leave the world behind and live for the teachings. I love the world, though. Level 36. Let's check that out. Brain map.
Dope. Check the shop. Get some all light jellies all the way up to ten. Like we can move some of these up. She didn't. That's it.
managed to break it. We'll be able to go forward now. <laughs> Seven, what's up? Bang it through this shit. Brain map it out. Yeah. 
good idea to save often. Probably gonna get in some gangster shit up here soon. to research Togetsu before we left. I don't know much about it either, other than the fact that the Togetsu Faith is headquartered there. How big is the city? Technically, it's not a city. It only has the facility for the Faith itself. It's full of weirdos with creepy obsessions about the moon. Honestly, the place was a nightmare. I don't think you should be calling them weirdos. People are free to believe what they want. You might not have many good memories, but I think it's important for you to make an effort to understand them. Yeah, yeah. A blizzard is kicking up. Haruka, what's the weather supposed to be like around here? That's strange. It should be clear and sunny according to the data. There aren't any readings of a blizzard. Yep. Oh, I'm reading another! Closing in from the front! A big one! Be careful! <laughs> Causing the blizzard? I'm off. The attack at the enemy's outer shell. You might be able to break it. Everything. The body won't move. This blizzard makes it even colder. We have to finish this soon. The other spot is in We should break it. Lend me your power. This thing is covered in water. <laughs> it was foolish to face me. Using the Sheeta. <laughs> With thanks to my power. Great Joker. Give it to me, Arashi. <laughs> Too long, you'll catch one. 
Oh, come on. I should have killed that bitch like ten times. Don't fuck with me. Yeah, there you go. You. amazed at the variety of others what exactly are others who knows could be the twisted work of evolution how far is togetsu isn't it dangerous that these others are appearing so close others feed on humans which there aren't a lot of here so they really don't have that much of an incentive to attack new himuka probably approved togetsu's religious state because of this location Let's hurry on ahead while we still have the chance. We don't want to run into another one. Also, oh, I'm starting to freeze like Arashi. Yeah, could have worn right. my clothes. Hmm? Hey, Kagura, where are you going? What's over there? I thought I'd say hi to an old friend. I want to know if anything's changed since I was here last. Sorry I won't be able to show you around, but you guys should go on ahead. I'll catch up to you soon. Don't worry, I've come this far. I'm not going to turn around and leave now. Well, see ya. I can never take him seriously. I was hoping Kagura would stick around to introduce you, since no one knows you there. It's fine. We'll just have to do it ourselves. I hope they let us inside. <sighs> oh, 
What is it, Kyoka? Oh, it's nothing. We should get going. More others. Are you okay, Kyoka? No. Oh, oh, sorry. I shouldn't sigh. I just have a little headache. Like I always do. Well, don't work too hard. This is pretty good.
Level 38 is owning this shit. Alright, it's a lot of money. Let's see if there's any weapons I can buy, huh? Nice. Wow, emergency and vulnerability field, huh? Shell are working. I'll try to break it. Let me your power. <laughs> 
to break it. We'll be able to go forward now. Good. We managed to break it. We'll be able to go forward now. One thing that's important to do with this game is to make sure you stay. Make sure you stay up on your brain map. 
Every time you get brain points, throw them into something to help your battle, because you never know when you're going to need it, for sure. Let's see. Further increase the number of objects thrown. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's see. Increases the XP bonus multiplier. Restores status ailments when brain drive is activated. You know, use a brain crush when brain drive is active. Slight restores a brain drive gauge. That's pretty good. I think I like this one though. Yeah. Throw more shit. Alright, let's see what's up. To get to. The fuck? Lady Kasane. Our treasure. You have finally returned. The fuck? What's going on? Why would I be your treasure? That's quite a welcome they're giving you. I don't know. It's still unsettling. They're like robots. Shiden, don't be rude. I'm sure it's just their custom. Either yeah, way, this is a pretty like excessive that. reception. You have any idea why they do this? No. I've never been involved with the Togetsu faith in any way. You would understandably not remember. However, you are originally from Togetsu. I'm... from here? Yes. You were born with an incredible power. This drew the interest of New Hiwoka, and they abducted you. I don't know what you're up to, but you're lying. My parents were killed by others when I was young. That's why the Randall family took me in. I understand your disbelief. However, those of us in Togetsu have not forgotten you for even a single day. We stood fast, having faith you would return to us one day. This is getting us nowhere. We came here to ask questions. Let's scratch the formalities. We want to know about the brains you've been trading to Seiron. Yes, we must tell you the truth. However, we will share it only with you. I am terribly sorry, but I must ask you to come with us alone. No. Whatever you tell me, I'm going to tell them anyway. So why don't you save us the time and just talk to us here? Kyoka? But your clothes are different, so it's not duplication. There's another fake Kyoka over here. What's going on? <clears throat> Let me go! What the hell? Clones? How is this happening? The fuck? What's going on? Yoka, did you know? I'm sorry, Kasane. <gasps> the fuck? This feeling. I felt it before. Good night, Kasane. May you have the most pleasant dreams. What Congratulations, Kasane. Fuck. You're finally awake. I say what the fuck all the time with this story, man. This shit's crazy. Kasane? Kasane! Who... Who's calling my name? <laughs> Look at that. It's a puppy. Isn't that just the cutest thing you've ever seen? I think he's simply adorable. Wouldn't you agree? A puppy? I feel so safe and warm. Do I? Know this woman? Hey, what's up, bro? And I'm chilling. I've been playing for a minute now. This uh, the story in this I game is crazy. Him. The puppy. That's right. I remember. The fuck would you kill a puppy? 
We were always together. My beloved friend. They killed him. They killed him right in front of me. What the actual fuck? No change. Her power failed to trigger. It uh, seems the pet's death is not a sufficient enough shock. Yeah, it's uh I wasn't sure Please when I started playing it, but is just a the story is really good and the fighting is pretty fun and the bosses the are tough, so it's challenging. The design children and then they're like between the bosses it's kind of fun just to beat the shit out of everyone. So the bosses are tough, but between them it's like you just mow through everybody. About the proper future. We don't need to reset anything. This world is fine the way it is. It's mother. So warm and kind. She always protected me. How could I have forgotten? No, I don't want to remember. This feeling. What is this? She has been a complete failure. I had thought making her an attendant would at least prove somewhat useful. I guess enough time has passed. We'll use this next. That's right. I knew it. They... They killed your mom. You should feel honored, you failure. You will become the foundation of a new era. They killed mother. I'm sorry, Kasane. Please find happiness. That's right. That's the day I lost her. The one who raised me. My mother. I'm an artificially created psionic? I don't even know what the fuck that means. This red string's power. Uh, my head. Uh, where am I? Was that a dream? No, that wasn't a dream. It was memories of a forgotten past. Where am I? If hey, so what you been up to, the trouble of drugging me. I knew it. They locked me in. Maybe I can break through somewhere. Who's there? Yoka. Lady Kasane, I have brought you fresh clothing. Oh shit. Huh? Hey. What's going on? Whoa, chill. Don't get your panties in a bunch, Kasane. It's just me, good old Kagero. What kind of princess attacks their prince charming when he comes to rescue her? Your decision to run off just before we entered Togetsu was pretty suspicious. For reals. What do you know? Are you planning on betraying us like Kyoka? If I was going to betray you, I wouldn't be here to rescue you. Why don't you calm down and use your head? I told you you'd regret coming here. Anyway, I'll explain later. This place is bad news. It's way worse than the last time I was here. Also, and I haven't a clue as to why, but it seems like Yuito's here too. Yuito? That's not good. They're after my red strings, which means they'll probably target him too because he has the same power. Then I guess we'll have to save him too. This really puts a damper on my plans. Can't believe I have to sneak past their defenses, meet up with Arashi and the others, and also warn Yuito about the danger. Anyway, I'm going to use my power to turn us invisible. They'll figure out you're gone right away, so we don't have much time. Let's go. Man, I'm fucking tired. Yuito is? We'll know where Yuito, Arashi, and everyone else is if we use Babe. Babe? It's the city computer that integrates all information in Togetsu. It's like Arahabaki and Yuhimuka. Kasane? Thank God you're okay. I can't contact Arashi and the others. They might be closed in somewhere. 
We can unlock all these doors from Babe's terminal. Let's hurry. Kasane, I found Yuito. You see that door? It leads to the city computer, Babe. We should follow them inside. Oopsies. It's locked. Oopsies. They won't be able to hear us from in there. We'll have to wait until they come out. Are you serious? Think about what they just did to you. He probably wouldn't be able to answer even if he could hear you. What do you mean? Babe is a super top secret facility. They're not just going to go ahead and let some outsider in so easily. But if they used it as bait... Oh, I see. <laughs> Those wily bastards. What is it? Tell me. I'm thinking that a computer belonging to the city would be fully capable of hijacking any mind that accesses it. That'd be the fastest way for them to get to Yuito's power. Then we have to break down this door right now. Whoa, 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 wait a second. We'll be found too. That's probably the worst thing we could do. There's got to be another way. I know. I might be able to force a brain talk connection from here. Can you hear me, Yuito? <clears throat> Yuito. Yuito. This feels like an SAS. Yuito, are your thoughts leaking? Are you trying to connect to Babe? What is... I can't... My body... Is his brain really being hijacked like Kagura said? Stop! What you're doing is too dangerous! Cut the connection now! Can you hear me, Yuito? Kasane? It seems like they were trying to hijack my brain. Thanks for disconnecting me. He's talking to his team while I'm still connected. I think he's safe now. Yuito, I forced myself in because I was nearby. Kasane! You're in Togetsu too? Uh, wait, before that, thanks for saving me. <laughs> Instead of thanking me, why don't you help me? Arashi and the others have been captured. They have? They're being held in some room, but I don't know which one. Are you in Babe's terminal? I want you to try to unlock all the doors in Togetsu from there. Okay, I'll try. Wait, if he unlocks everything... Alarms? Guess that was to be expected. Kasane. Kasane? Arashi? Good. I can finally get through to you. Seems like you're okay. I'm glad you're okay too, Shiden. Let's rendezvous. I know where you are, so just wait for me to get there. What about Yoko? Hey, I'm not some kind of lost child. I'll take care of the lost little boy. Hurry up and get us. Can. All right. Looks like you two aren't hurt. <laughs> of course not. I was more worried about you, but it looks like you're fine. Thanks to Kagero. I'd still be locked up if it wasn't for him. I guess it means your shady lone wolf nature came in handy. Guess so. Now, as much as I'd love to stick around for this touching, heartwarming reunion, time is of the essence here. You're right. We should try to escape in all this confusion.
What's all that commotion anyway? Is that because of us? It's Yuito Platoon. I don't know what they're doing, but they're into... Ogatsu too. We were able to save you thanks to them, though. Then I'd like to thank them. I guess I can't unless we get out of here. Togetsu spy. You didn't meet her before, Kagero? No, never. Residents of Togetsu almost never communicate with each other. Right here, huh? Kyoka? Phew. Looks like we made it out. Yeah, right. And my invisibility power really saved the day. I'll admit that invisibility is useful, but doesn't it make you uneasy to have nobody notice you? Right? You totally get me. That's why I like to shout after I use my power. Damn you and your impulses. We're still in enemy territory. What if someone finds us? No need to worry about that. They've already found us. Right, Kyoka? Yep. So you noticed me. What are you doing here, Kyoka? I was already on alert when Kagero disappeared. Unfortunately, an unexpected visitor caused me to fall behind. I can't let you leave. We need you to reset this mistaken universe. Here she comes. Get ready. Yep. It's up to you. Wait a second. Explain what's going on! Right. Why did you betray us? You. It was all to undo past mistakes. That's why we need you, Kasane. <laughs> Just like the Kyoka I met so long ago. My mission always comes first. I'm rooting for you! Time for stealth. Sorry, youngster. Here's a Nishida. Extra. Move. I'm not done yet. Close. Run, youngster! Kill them! Leave 
There were two of her eyes. This is not. I don't know these theories. These memories aren't mine. I'm not Pope. What are you talking about? Have your memories been manipulated? I wouldn't put something like that past Togetsu. Kyoka, you have to remember you're Kyoka Eden, our teammate. I'm not sure that's going to work. If what I think happened really did. Hyoka's consciousness is the one that got tacked on after. I don't know how much you know, but she's trying to fight whatever they did to her memory. If you can do something, help her. You want to help her even though she's a Togetsu spy? Oh, stuff it, Kagero. I want to get my teammate back. Yeah, yeah. Kyoka. No. Major Kyoka. I... I'm losing sight of who I am as well. So many memories are helping me piece myself together as Kasane Randall. One of those memories is you welcoming me into Kyoka Platoon. You're Kyoka Eden. You're the commander who made me who I am. Kasane! Everyone! Are you okay? Sorry. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. Kyoka, I'm so relieved. You're back. Not so fast. As much as I'd like that to be true, she could just be pretending. Arashi! I thought you wanted to bring Kyoka back! Sorry, but I'm not an idealist posing as a realist like you. I'm skeptical precisely because I want her back. Yes. You're right to be skeptical. I... I really am a spy for Togetsu. Since when? How long have you been deceiving us? Since the beginning. I'm a Togetsu spy sent in to infiltrate Suo. We needed to awaken Kasane's power in order to fulfill Togetsu's agenda. My orders were to secretly protect Kasane, help her grow, and then lead her back to Togetsu once her Red String's power was awakened. I see. If you're planning on putting your espionage behind you, then I want you to tell me something. Who is Pope? Does it have to do with the way you acted? I have the memories of Dr. Hitoyo Pope, the neuroscience expert and founder of the Togetsu Faith. I used to be Dr. Pope herself a long time ago, but as I spent my years as Kyoka, Kyoka's memories began to build on each other, and they continued to grow stronger every day. It was only a matter of time before her personality took hold. Kasane, I didn't protect you because I was ordered to by Togetsu. I loved you. I loved you and everyone else on the team. Honestly, I loved everything about my life as Kyoka Eden. I knew this day would come. But I prayed so hard that it wouldn't. I had always hoped that your red string's power would never awaken. 
Not that you would believe me. Whether we believe you isn't important. What do you want to do? What? Arashi said you should only answer if you thought you're done being a spy. And you did. Are you planning on going back to Togetsu and spy for them again? What is it that you want to do? You still haven't told us yet. I... I... I am one of the design children. A clone that was created to carry out my mission. That was all I was required to think about. Failure means death. That used to be everything to the old me. But now it's different. Now... I have something I want to do. I can't be sure how much I can hold back Pope's consciousness. There's no guarantee that I'll be able to suppress it. So, being with me might put everyone in danger. I know what I did is unforgivable, and that I'm in no position to ask you for anything, but... This is where I want to be, with all of you. I want to protect Kasane. I want to protect all of you, because you gave my life meaning. I believe you. I couldn't imagine that the warmth and kindness I've witnessed from you were all lies. You may be a little nosy from time to time, but that's just who you are. Yeah, that's the Kyoka I know. If that was an act, then we deserve to be tricked. And don't worry, if this Pope ever does come out, I'll put you out of your misery. You can be assured of that. Yeah, she was actually pretty so easy fight. So basically, you're saying you'll kill her if she betrays us. That's kind of scary. It's nice you could joke about it, but unlike Kyoka, who told us everything, you haven't done anything to earn our trust. Ouch, that hurts. You know, I'm the one who saved Kasane. Look, we can talk about me once we get out of here. I'm guessing they'll send more people after us when they realize Kyoka is missing. That's true. Well, let's hurry then. Come on, Kyoka. You too. Nobody here objects, so obviously, you're coming. Thank you, all of you. I wonder why I'm so obsessed with the term design children. I'll have to ask about it again later. All right, level 39. I'm sorry I made you worry too, Haruka. Th that's okay. All I could do was watch, but... I'm glad you came back. Welcome home. Huh? Alright, I think that's a good place to stop for now. I'm pretty tired. What's this? That's good. Where can I find a place to aim it? Gotta find places to stop. like they made it out too would be nice if we could exchange information with them yuito can you and your platoon hear me kasane oh, i'm glad you're okay are you near us yes but we're closer to togetsu than you and we're still running let me make a suggestion you learned something in there right why don't we exchange intel and 
We have a lot to talk about. Okay. I was thinking the same thing. Good. That settles it. We'll be waiting halfway up Hiano Mountain. Roger that. See you then. If we're exchanging information, what are we going to tell them about Kyoka? I think we should tell them the truth. I just feel we'll regret it later if we try to hide it. Besides, there's something about Togetsu I haven't been able to tell you yet. But let's wait until we meet up with Yuito and his team. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious to know what it is. But yeah, it'll be more efficient to hear it then. Ah, you can hear well, it twice. Well, let's head their way then. Get more details. Comprehend it better. Whatever you guys want to do. I'm tired. There's a resource reading that's close. People in here to fight. Oh, let's fight, motherfuckers. Really? Nobody? Yep, that's what I thought. It's up to you. Leave it to me. If we use duplication correct, it's on it. Drop 
supply. Shit, I should have read it some more. All right, let's get some shopping done.
It's Yuito Platoon. Let's go. Kasane! Looks like all of you made it out okay. I was able to rescue them thanks to your help. I should be thanking you. I would have been taken over by Babe if you hadn't been there. Hey, Kasane. You're not going to try and kill Yuito again, are you? I already told you. She was the one that saved me. I know. But I want to hear her say it. You have all the right in the world to doubt me. In fact, I don't blame you for it either. Yes, I think it's best to talk for now. We should talk and find a better solution, rather than just forging ahead on assumptions. It took me too long to come to this decision, and I apologize for that. Something's different about you. Can you tell me what happened? Why did you try to kill me? I know this will sound ridiculous, but please hear me out. So my power affected the Kunan Gate. So you knew. Yeah. I didn't want to believe it, but it's true. So... The me in the future... I guess I just wasn't able to end it myself. How lame. That's not true. The you in that time was great. And you right now is special too. <laughs> I have to admit, I never thought you'd be complimenting me. Thanks. That makes me feel a little better. I'm proud I have the same power as you. That reminds me. How is your brain doing? Has it settled down at all? Yeah, it's fine. I'm getting by. I told you not to worry. Liar. He's trying to keep us from worrying. Just like Naomi. All right. We should exchange intel. Then first and foremost, we got some questions. Especially about Kyoka. Yes, of course you would. Kyoka, are you one of the design children from Togetsu? Yes, I'm a clone made in Togetsu. My genes come from the founder of the Togetsu faith, Dr. Hitoyo Pope. The city is filled with chosen psionics, designed from the same genetic data as me. We are the children of Togetsu. Again, this term, design children... I know I've heard it somewhere before. It was when I regained a memory of Mother. Yes. She said I was... made. I see. I guess that's why Kyoka and Dr. Pope look the same. We were shocked when we saw Dr. Pope's vision in the Togetsu facility. I hate to ask this, but if she was one of the Togetsu followers... Yes, Kyoka was a spy. She was spying on Kasane. But that's not the case anymore. She decided to live as one of us. I vouch for Kyoka. She's definitely not our enemy. Yeah, I believe you. What? That was fast. The way Kasane looks at Kyoka is proof enough. Though, that's kind of an embarrassing way to put it. Honestly, I don't know much about Kyoka, so I can't really make this decision myself. But I do know Kasane. I wanted to talk to her to decide what to do, and I thought it was best to trust her. If I trust Kasane, then I trust the people she does. Shiden, there's no need to get so riled up. You know very well this is the kind of person Yuito is. Yeah, I just remembered how stupid he is. Huh. Hey, Kasane, <laughs> if Kyoka is one of the design children, does that mean you are too? Hmm. What? What are you talking about? In Togetsu, we saw design children with the same face as Kasane's. Yes, I probably am. That's a weird way to say it. This is the first I've heard of this. Care to extrapolate? I remembered a little from when I was a child in Togetsu. I remembered Mother. From what I recall, I was told I was one of the design children. It only just came back to me, so it doesn't feel real. That's why I said it like that. Oh, I see. I I'm sorry. It must be a painful memory for you. You look so sad. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. You're very kind, Hanabi. But of course you should have asked. Don't worry about it. And thank you. You're so nice to her, Kasane. Really? I wasn't trying to be. 
Anyway, is there anything else you wanted to ask about? Yeah, there is. If you know anything about humans coming from the moon, I'm hoping you can tell me more about it. What? <gasps> Did you hit your head or something? Oh, so you guys don't know about this? Wait, what he said is true? I yes. All right. I guess we should explain what we've been told. Who should I talk to first? What? I don't give a fuck anybody. It may be hard to believe, but apparently our ancestors moved here from the moon 2,000 years ago. Apparently, human beings colonized the moon over 3,000 years ago because the Earth's environment wasn't livable anymore. It's so long ago, it feels like a fairy tale. It was after the first colonists from the moon arrived on Earth that the extinction belt suddenly appeared. Because of its appearance, they were no longer able to contact the government on the moon. What? So, I guess it's safe to assume that there are people on the moon, too? The first colonists from the moon were led by Yakumo Sumeragi. What they established on Earth later became known as New Himuka. It's hard to believe, I know. The people who colonized the moon began a major cleanup effort to save the polluted Earth and make it habitable again. They spent nearly a thousand years on the project. We learned all of this after looking through Togetsu's archive, so I honestly don't know if we should really believe all of it. But if you were a Togetsu spy, Kyoka, you would know if this is true or not. Yes, that's indeed what we were taught. But if that was also part of the conspiracy, then... Actually, no. It's true. It's all for real. What do you mean, Kagura? Sugumi, don't look at me like that. I can't stand it when you look at me like that. Kagura, there's a lot I want to ask you. But for now, tell us about history as Togetsu sees it. Do all Togetsu believers know this? Right, about that. The faith. That's all a lie. Just a way to get Togetsu independence. Besides, the place is mostly made up of design children. I must say, it didn't look like a religious establishment to me. So does that mean that you are one of the design children as well, Kagero? Now, now, I said mostly, didn't I? I'm a colonist from the moon. Get what? real! Even if there actually were colonists from the moon, that would have been 2,000 years ago. Cold sleep. Yes, exactly. A few dozen colonists are being kept in cold sleep in a Togetsu facility. They wake us up in turns to check on the state of the Earth. And then we're supposed to contact the moon. Uh, hold on. Does that mean you're from the same generation as Yakumo? Look, I don't expect you to believe me right away or anything. But it's the truth. The people of New Himuka wanted to live on Earth. So those that wanted to return to the moon made Togetsu. Togetsu doesn't care about New Himuka or Seiron. They're an egotistical lot that wants to return to the moon instead of living on this crappy, other-filled planet. But as long as the extinction belt is there, they can't go back. Not only that, there's news that others are attacking the moon too. <laughs> so they got to thinking. What can they do to save their homeland and escape Earth? They need to make it so the colonization never even happened in the first place. The red strings. The time travel power. I see. They want to go back in time and negate it all from ever happening. But wouldn't humanity eventually attempt to colonize Earth again and repeat this history? To be precise, the plan is to only take the moon and Earth back in time, with a few exceptions. Is that even possible? Taking only a portion of the universe back in time? They believe the Red Strings can do it. 
They plan to leave records of this timeline's history in the areas that were not taken back in time. So future generations won't attempt to colonize Earth again. Hang on. I'm getting confused. That's so outrageous. I don't know how to take it all in. Whether you want to believe it or not, Togetsu actually managed to create the red strings to carry out their plan. Kasane is the result of that. Although, it's pretty strange how Yuito has a similar power. Let's suppose everything he said is true. That means this isn't really the time to be squabbling over Nuhimuka or Seiron. If Togetsu were to get what they're after, then none of us would have ever existed. No, that's not right. We can't let them succeed. We're all here, trying to survive. Kagura, why would someone at the center of Togetsu's plan reveal all this to us? Can we assume that you are planning to abandon them as well? Ruining their plan is something I've been working towards since the beginning. That's why I joined them, to get in the way. That sounds great and all, but how are we supposed to believe you? You don't have to. If you've got a problem with me, I'll walk. But whatever happens, I'm not going to sit back and let them get away with erasing this history. I left my family on the moon. I won't let them take her existence, too. Kagero means it. I can tell. It's been a long time since I've seen him like this. So please, trust him. Sugumi. Sugumi knows Kagero best. I think we can trust her judgment. Besides, I have a feeling you trust him already. Yeah. If Sugumi trusts him, then I trust him too. And if Yuito does, then I do too. Of course, I'll kill him if he betrays us. Mm. <laughs> of course. I keep making fun of them for being naive, but that's what ends up saving me. Mm. If we're going to believe Kagero, then we have to believe all of the history about the colonists from the moon too, and then figure out what we can do. We're stopping Togetsu's plan. That's all we can do, but it's too much for us to handle. We need someone who can move nations. Are you going to ask New Himuka for help? We're fugitives there. Even so, we have to. That doesn't mean I forgive them for the things they're doing, though. If they know what Togetsu is trying to do, they might realize their terrible actions are all in vain. What if we asked Seiron for help? If they know about the Togetsu threat, they might realize that New Himuka isn't who they should be fighting. I wonder. As far as I know, both Nuhimuka and Seiron should have a clear understanding about the Moon colonists and their history. On top of that, they're both scheming to survive. At least it's better than nothing. I don't want to just sit here and wait to be erased. Indeed. So, we should split up and give it a shot? Yes, let's do that. Yuito, you go to Nuhimuka. And you go try explaining things to Seiron. Now we're finally after the same thing. Let's do our best. All right. Ugh, what an exhausting day. Way too much happened. You don't get to say that. At least you already knew about the moon and Togetsu's plan. I'm sorry. Look, let's not start pointing fingers. We should sit down and try to process what we learned. I agree. We've been in the dark all this time, but not anymore. That's right. What we need to focus on now is stopping Togetsu. Kyoka, Kagero, you both all right with that? Yes, of course. This is what I want, to be with all of you. So wait, you decided to trust me? Shiden, you're so sweet. You're making me regret it talking like that. Are you blushing? Dang it, you caught me. You know, kids wouldn't talk to adults like that back in my day. I swear I'll never betray you. If I did, these last 2,000 years would be for nothing. Then let's set out for Seiron after we get some rest. All right, stand by phase eight. I'm gonna work through this and call it a night. I am fucking tired. I'm glad Yuito trusted us. He's such a kid, though. I can't tell if he's honest, a sucker, or just too nice. Yes, you're right. 
But that might be what makes him strong. He's a bad motherfucker. That dude can fight for sure. You don't remember being in Togetsu at all, Kasane? No. I only remember bits and pieces. Did you know me then? No, I didn't. I'm sorry I didn't tell you anything. Thank you. It might be good to talk to Arashi. Thank you. Kasane, do you remember when I said I wanted you to help me with a job? Yeah. For payment of the rations that you treated me to. Yeah, I'm going to cash that in now. Don't worry, the job will be worth your time. What are all these? Looks like empty bottles, junk parts, candy wrappers. Exactly. I need you to sort... Why do you have so much? I kind of got lazy and didn't get around to cleaning them up. Oh, yeah, take care of this trash. Don't throw it. You got trash everywhere again. Hmm? Now what could this be? You don't see that many handwritten letters anymore. How interesting. Oh, that. You can throw that out, too. But it's unopened. Let's see. It's from Major General Fubuki. What if it's important? Are you sure you don't want to check it? Then he would have messaged me instead of using this archaic method. If you're that curious, be my guest and read it. Don't mind if I do. You didn't even hesitate. Mm -hmm. So, anything surprising? Yep. No. Basically, he's filling you in on what he's been up to. Also, he says not to drink too much soda. I thought so. He sends me letters filled with stuff that doesn't matter. I don't get it at all. I would reply to a message, but a letter? Just opening it is a pain. If he's going through the trouble of handwriting a letter, don't you think it means there's something special he's trying to get across? If that's the case, then you should really cherish these. You never know what could happen to us next. Look, it's not that I don't understand what you're saying, but these letters have been piling up and just finding a place to keep them is a pain. Besides, just getting the letter lets me know that he's doing okay. So you can throw this in the trash. Fubuki and I aren't like you sisters. You're awfully stubborn. Exactly. You're a perceptive one. She's so very different from me and Naomi. Especially how little she seems to care about her brother. Still. Are she? Remember the Major General Fubuki you saw in the future? Yeah, what about him? You were angry, weren't you? I mean, you saw it with your own eyes. You keep saying that you're not those kinds of siblings, but it doesn't feel that way to me. So why... I mean, of course I'd get mad if he died. I feel like human emotion is a strange mechanism. Really? More importantly, Kasane, I don't see your hands sorting through the trash. Huh? That was a good distraction, but you're not getting out of your work. I wasn't trying to get out of it. I'm not like you. Great. 
Then good luck here. I'll be busy skipping out on my own work. Have fun. Looks like she dodged my question. I've been in the OSF a long time, and a rookie as good as you is a rare thing. You mean a rookie who's easy to give your work to? I can't just give my work to anyone. I chose you because I know you can handle it. Also, because I trust you personally, even outside of work. So, I'll trust you to keep working as an extension of myself. Fuck yeah. You're intriguing. I'm discovering more and more of your good qualities. I am? Well, I guess getting to know someone isn't a bad thing. Gotta check the brain messages. Whoops. Uh oh, I think there was an important computer port in the garbage I need to throw out. I don't know if I can get another one. It only happens when you're so messy. Why do you use it in our fashion device? Anyway, it doesn't suit you. True, a PC can't keep up your human brain when it comes to process and speed. They're inefficient old fashioned things of building antiques and thinking and how to make them function better is how I exercise our brain. Seems inefficient at first, but the result in an increase in total efficiency. I guess the simple answer is it's my hobby. Computer parts. Nobody was talking about the cargo originally from, I'm guessing we're right, the brains were from clones, right? Yes, there should be no mistake that all of the heads were from design children, clones are right, that's because they'll get so as a technology mass produced design children. They created to carry out missions, if they fail, they die, those heads could be from the ones who were disposed of for failing. That's right, however, that doesn't explain the massive amount of heads. Either way, the fact remains that they mass produced them for the transaction. I know the truth just doesn't fit right with me. Grandma says, I want to apologize for what happened the other day. Can we talk first? And I'm waiting to say Ron. Alright, I'm going to say Ron now. Gamma. I'm sorry to bother you about this, because. It's fine. I want to. Why? I'm the one who should say sorry. I just dumped all my feelings on you with... If I'm being honest, I still don't... However, after everything I've experienced lately, I... Th Did something happen? You really felt like you wanted to die? Not me, Naomi. She didn't want to live as an other. Her sanity being maintained with me. She said that? I didn't understand her at the time. I wanted her to live... But now I partly understand where she's coming from. That feeling that makes you want to run away from life when things are so incredibly hard and painful. If that's what you were feeling, then I realized I didn't have any right to complain to you. Thank you for understanding. Let me just say it again. I shouldn't have unloaded my feelings of self-pity on you. I'm old enough to know better. So I brought you something as a token of apology. Is that a packed lunch? Yeah, they're all from the recipes Naomi gave me. Cool. I don't know if you're hungry or not, but maybe you'd be willing to give them a taste. Thank you. I wanted to taste what her recipes were like. This is stir-fried mackerel and green peppers. This is vegetable namol, and that's shredded meat. Wow, you really went all out. I'm still learning, so I've burnt some of them. It may not look appetizing, but it should still be edible. I'll take this then. Not bad. It does remind me of my sister... Really? Yes. It doesn't even come close to the real thing, though. <laughs> I see. But getting you to say that it reminds you of it is... It's fairly good and a little familiar. It wasn't a big deal. Cooking helps calm me. It's perfect for... You think so? Yes. Although I used to think it was a waste of time. I thought about what you said while I cooked. Which part? I think I said a lot the last time we talked. About how I wanted to roll over and die, and how that was thinking how much Naomi wants to live in her original body. And about how much all my friends who died in battle would have won. It made me realize that wasting whatever life I have left was dis- Part of me thinks you're taking it a little too seriously. I might be too serious. 
How? The first thing is to get back to eating healthy with Naomi's... I also want to reevaluate the way I spend my weekends. Sounds like a good idea. And I'm sure you're cooking well. Then I guess I'll keep at it. Of course. Thanks. I still have trouble figuring out what's good or bad since I've never been concerned. You seem like you're enjoying it. I am, although it stresses me out while I'm doing it. Well, maybe I enjoy... He looks so alive. Maybe he started to feel more positive about his life. I want to talk about something, Kasane. I want to talk alone. Come to Masubis if you feel like it. Only if you feel like it, though. Damn, there's a lot of talking going on. Not to be retired all the time. I guess if talking like that relaxes you, you don't have to force yourself to change. I'm now we've been there. Sorry to keep you waiting. You said you wanted to talk to. Oh, Kasane. What is it? Nothing. But you just look like you noticed something. Did you s <sighs> Well, I won't pry if it's... Um... Yes? Your left knee. My left knee? You may not have noticed, but there's a bruise. Oh, now that you mention it, I did hit it. I think you should get that treated. The bone isn't hurt, but it might leave... Good idea. I'll get it looked at when I get back to the hideout. I had a feeling you were subconsciously favoring your left leg. I was worried, so I couldn't help but use my power. Why are you apologizing? I... Because I violated your privacy by looking under your clothes. Ah, I see. That's why you felt uncomfortable telling me. Some things are off limits. I'm not a child. Did something happen when you were young? Yes. I didn't realize back then that what I can see isn't something... When I told people what I saw, I finally realized that I shouldn't be doing things like that. That looking underneath... Is it really so bad? What? I mean, nobody wants to have their secrets revealed. To be honest, that wouldn't really... Really? Yeah, I don't have any secrets. People can look all they want. Yes. It can be a little revolting if you're not used to it. Then not only can you see injuries, you can detect internal diseases early as well. It's fascinating. There really aren't many that can do that. I think it's a one- uh, You're the first person other than Kagro to see- That's surprising. I thought the OSF would evaluate your effective- They tell me it's effective in battle. But my power hasn't often been noted for its everyday uses. I've been mindful in trying to avoid seeing things, or not talk about it if I do see something. It's a strange feeling being told I can look. It does take a weight off my shoulders. <coughs> well, that's good. Yes. Thanks, Kasane. Thank you, for finding my injury. By the way, didn't you have something you wanted to discuss? Oh, we can talk about that some other time. Really? I still have time now. It's okay, really. I'll talk to you about it the next time I see you. Sure, I'll see you then. She seems to have a lot on her mind. Next time I see her, I need...
You know what I like. Thanks. Good taste. Hey, Kasane. I guess so. What you remember my promise from before, right? A fun and exciting date with your one and only- You're not my father, and I'm not interested in a date. What? You told me the last one was super boring. You're still bothered by that? No, no, that's not what I mean. I want to make up for- I wanted to apologize for that. So this is like a second- The apology is fine, but I don't know what- It's like my dream, I guess? Just say yes. So, how was it? The dining experience at Baki's Cafe is supposed to be very... I think Naomi and Yuito would have enjoyed it more, but it was fun. No complaints here. Next up is dessert. I'm fine with just... <laughs> I figured you'd say that. Wait, when did you... Oh, you used your invisibility power. That's an interesting use for it. You can't just reveal my secret like that. Even if you know how it's done, it's more fun. Like this. I grew this flower from a seed. The flower symbolizes hidden kindness. A perfect match. So, what do you think so far? Well, you seem to be following the standard dating norms I read in magazines. But they all have a nice Kagero twist. However, something's bothering me. You've gone through a lot of effort just to make up for love. You're either really perceptive or overly distrusting. But yeah, I guess it's time I tell you. The truth is, I tried to assassinate you back in the day, so that's kind of included in this apology. Assassinate? Hmm. From the looks of it, you haven't realized it at all. Guess that means I still got it. Fortunately, I didn't have to go through with it, but I was waiting for the right opportunity. Like trying to be alone with you. As the one you were targeting, I believe I have a right to know why. It was to stop Togetsu's plan. Their plan hinged on your power, so I thought that killing you might be the best option left for me. Of course, now that you've decided not to support them, I've got no reason to hurt you. You can trust me on that. Well, I don't doubt that, but I'm still not satisfied. What, really? I guess this wouldn't be enough to make up for trying to kill you. I could do something even... It's not that. It's just... killing some... I don't understand how you could make that decision so easily. I see what you're saying. That makes sense. I mean, it's not like I don't value... But yeah, if I seem cynical about it, it's probably because I don't feel like I'm very... I'm like a ghost from the past, existing in a time when his fam... Your family. You mentioned... Yeah, I had a wife and daughter. My daughter was simply the cutest. You'd be surprised she was related to me. I loved her dearly, and she meant so much to me. But in the end... I couldn't do anything for her as what's even more sad is that I've got no idea what kind of person she grew up to. That's why, at the very least, I want to protect. I'll do whatever it takes, even if it means turning against my homeland. I might even. <sighs> How about we leave this off here? 
All right. So, what did you think of Daddy? Yes, I would say it was worthwhile. Ah, you finally realized what a wonderful... Although, I still don't know how serious you are. You know, I don't really know either. Huh? Just kidding. Sorry to make you help me fulfill my dreams today. I wonder what he meant by that. I feel like I got to know him a little better, but try... There's a rumor lately that I've been using my power to spy on people. I would never do that, you know? I mean, I can't say I haven't thought about it. Do I look... It's because you're always so thoughtless, but I know you're not like that. Oh? Thanks. That's my Kasane. I like that you're always so cool. Great. This is from your team mind. You wanted to get closer to me? Ah, oh, shucks. I guess I would like to understand you better. Alright, I think that's gotta be it, right? Funny shit takes so long. Tehran's rebel faction has declared themselves the provisional government, continuing their illegal activities, but there appears to be a rift developing. We've received information that Car and Travers from Ceyron have maintained the distance in their relationship from the very start due to differing opinions. The ununified rebel faction may already be crumbling from within. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, I think that's it.
Things are affordable. Time to get a little rest. Yeah. I think we're all rested up. Yeah, we can't exactly take our. Togetsu could have sent people after you. I'll do what I can on my. Man, Haruka, you're great. I thought Yuito Platoon's Wataru was pretty good, but hey, gotta hand it to our twins for all their support, right? It would have been the perfect compliment if you didn't mention my brother. Uh, do you have no shame? What? Aren't you ashamed that you just can't pay anyone a compliment? If anyone should feel ashamed... Kyoka, Arashi, let's go. It seems like Kagero and Shiden want to mess around. Well, you heard her, Shiden. Want to mess around then? So what will it be? A fist fight? Power battle? A youngin like you won't best me. Shut up! Don't make me part of your antics! Anyway, if we're going to talk to Seiron, where should we start? I suppose we should think about that before we head there. Yeah, we don't have any connections with the Seiron government. What about your influence with the press, Arashi? I'm good at using them to promote an image, but getting them to do what I want... Moreover, we're talking about politics here. This is the type of information that would be better spread among the people as a rumor than in... An impressive analysis from a former spy. I... I know that's a compliment, but I'm... Hmm? Hey, let's get back on topic. What about that official from before? Hmm... We had that disagreement over Naomi. I doubt he'd be... Karin might be able to get through to the Seiron. Right, Major General Karin. It does seem like he... he left in a hurry when we last saw him at the facility where they were keeping Naomi. I wonder where he is now. Wait, something is happening at the supernatural lab. Good thing we decided to monitor it. They're starting to transport the other web. Transport? Their destination is Mizuhaga. What are they planning on doing with her? Probably nothing good, considering all the trouble they're going through. Did they leave some kind of plan behind? They need some reason. Wait, it's mostly been redacted, but I found one. Oh, they have the name of the person in charge. No, it can't be. Tell us who it is already. The one trying to take the other weapons? It's Major General Fubuki. Fubuki? Why? There was always a possibility that he was somehow involved, considering the... I'm just wondering about Major General Karin and whether or not he's involved. I don't care about the reason right now. We can ask them... You're absolutely right. But either way, we still have to go... Yeah. Should be easy to talk if a boot... I can't imagine they have enough people with the transfer power to carry all... Even with the shuttling, they will have to take breaks between transfers. We should hurry before it's too late. Alright, finally, and that's where Is we're Major at General now. Fubuki doing in Mizuhagawa? Maybe moving the other weapons to Suo. If so, Naomi and the rest might not be safe. We have to get my sister back. Let's move. That's it, time for bed.